Welcome to Exit Through the Gift Shop. Today we're back at Ye Old Curiosity Shop and it's time to have a snack with Sylvester. Now the awesome part about the Ye Old Curiosity Shop is that it has tons and tons of curiosities hanging from the rafters and in every case you can find. So even though we were here before, we're going to poke around and see what, uh, see what else is new. And if you hadn't seen our first video, I'm going to leave a link to it right up above. So this is medical ed. He's more than 100 years old and he was used to teach doctors in the early 1900s. Now this is an actual anatomic preparation. So it's a, made from a real human head and skin. And you could open up the different sections of his face, head and brain to understand the human skull before you had to do surgery. This was created before x-rays were invented so that doctors could learn to understand the different parts of the human skull. This here is Black Bart. It's a vintage slot machine. It says, pull my gun arm for a lucky souvenir coin. Let's do it. it says, don't pull his arm until you feed me a quarter, and here we go. Are we a winner? Sounds like a winner. Ah. There's a ye old curiosity shop souvenir coin. Awesome. Here's a vintage vampire killer kit that includes a holy bible, a crucifix, wooden mallet, wooden stake, and a vial of holy water. Okay. I'm not sure I'd want to drink out of it, but uh, hey, there it is. Down here is a collection of origami dollar bills. I see some boats, some cranes, and lots of other things as well. Oh, look at that. Right down there, that's a pleated Washington, it says. That's pretty awesome. It looks like they folded up the bill into a smaller bill. It says it took eight hours to create. And we still haven't answered the question of what is it? Here's a rare narwhal skull with two tusks. <laughs> one little one up top and a big one down below. If you're looking to buy something, you can get a farm-raised alligator skull or these rabbit foot keychains. Some aquatic curiosities. We have a porcupine fish, a porcupine fish lantern, and over here is a coco de mer. Apparently this was once thought to come from a tree that grew at the bottom of the ocean and in the 1500s they were extremely valuable. The coco de mer is now a protected species. Here's some matchstick art, a matchstick wheel and a matchstick cube. And if you're not sure how to get it home, apparently you can just send this jawbone through the US mail. Got some more natural oddities all packed away in this case here. There's a freak pig. Born with eight legs, three eyes, two tails, three mouths, two noses and two ears. Not to mention right in the back there, a two-faced cat, a four-legged chicken, fossil tooth of a giant shark, a natural bullfrog, and more. Oh, there's a stillborn fawn, a lizard from New Mexico right back there, that tiny little guy. Here's a tiny baby octopus, and what is it? It's the scoot of a sturgeon. A bony scale-like plate from a sturgeon. I guess that's that back there. And right up front is the nest of a cocoon spider. As usual while you're here, don't forget to get your very own souvenir rubber shrunken head. So 
after we were here last time, somebody said, did you try the fudge? And I said, no, we didn't try the fudge. So sure enough, back in the back corner of the Ye Olde Curiosity Shop, you can get handmade fudge. We're gonna try a sample. We're also going to get some cinnamon glazed almonds and cashews right there. Like I said, there's oddities everywhere. Even right back here by the fudge station, we have a badger shot on September 4th, 1869. And he don't give a care. So here we go, Sylvester looks hungry. We're gonna share our cinnamon glazed almonds. Got one, bud? I think he's resting. So last time we checked out these shrunken heads, but we didn't notice right back here is a very rare shrunken torso. So that's the complete upper half of a woman shrunken down to about six inches tall. And right down here is a small mummified baby known as Gloria. Looks like this guy was unlucky. Down here we have a skull with an arrowhead in it. Given the fact that it's still there, I'm guessing he didn't survive. All right, that's it for this round from Ye Old Curiosity Shop. Remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified of all our latest adventures. And check out our interactive map to see all the cool places that we've been. If you haven't already checked out our first Ye Old Curiosity Shop video, there's lots more to explore. Again, I'll put the link up above. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.